Top of the morning to you, you scam and feckers, yeah? Oh, you want Target gift cards, do you? Don't be putting any extra zeros on. Hi everyone, Polgat here. Welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. Hello. Um, right, this one here, Microsoft. Um, it's just Microsoft. I was about to say Defenders. The um, just Microsoft uh, again using the ploy of um, network hacked. Uh, the really bad type of uh, pornography. Um, visits to Pornhub.com and illegal pornography stuff like that. Um, character got quite angry, um, quite numerous times in this one. Um, apologies for the few um, curse words that I use, but uh, it, they get to me at times, so I apologize for that in advance. Um, please watch this one all the way through, even if you want to skip a bit ahead. Um, it does get interesting. Um, there is a few wee different ploys that they've been using, um, and a new one for me, Beep the Horn, and uh, use my indicators. Right. Um, so, uh, just sit back, relax, and hope you enjoy. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Welcome to Technical Support, this side, Harry. How can I help you today? Oh, uh, hi, yeah. Uh, I've got a pop-up on my screen. I don't know what to do. Alright, so first of all, can you please tell me, is it a laptop or a desktop? It's a desktop. Okay, and which brand desktop you are using? Like, it's an HP, Dell, Lenovo? It's a Dell. Okay, and may I have your first and last name, please? Yeah, my name's Franco Gambino. Can you please spell out me your first and last name? F-R-A-N-C-O. Franco. Okay, now last name? Gambino. G A M B. I N O Alright, now can you please confirm me with your zip code, like what's your zip code? Yeah, it's 10 4 57 So 1 0 Alright 1 0 4 5 7, right? 1 0 4 5 7, yeah Right now, is it your personal computer or it's your office computer? Oh no, it's my own personal one. Alright, so, And what were you doing on your computer when you got this message? Uh, I was on Facebook and I clicked on a link and my, I accidentally hit something on the side of the screen and poof! My whole screen went out and some noise came. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. Now, hold the line for a minute. Let me go ahead and check this up for you, okay? Alright, okay. Thank you. Alright, sir. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. By the way, that's a Franco Gambino. Yeah, he's from the Bronx. Hope you're all doing well. And just to let you know, there will be more characters being brought in every now and then. Once I can get the accent going or their voice, yeah, not a problem. No voice changers, try not to use them as much now apart from with Mary Beth. Uh, so, just the joys of having fun. I'm wasting scammers times. I'm playing with their heads. 
What more can you ask for? All right, so are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so I have checked everything for you and it seems like there is a breach on your network which means it's an attempt of hacking. So, do you know what is mean by hacking? Uh, no, I don't. Alright, so let me tell you what is mean by hacking. It means that somebody is trying to access your personal data, your personal information by getting into your device without having your knowledge, okay? Alright, okay. So, has someone used your computer within past 48 hours except you? Uh, my son. Okay, and are you the only user of this computer? No, my son uses it uh, every now and then whenever he comes up. Okay, okay, so the reason I'm asking you these questions because it seems that the hacking has been taken place only within past 48 hours. So what I'm gonna do for you sir, I'm gonna guide you some simple steps to install certain temp Microsoft temporary security on your computer. Then we will go ahead and check what all the data was getting hacked by the hackers and what is required to be done. Okay? Alright. Alright, so look at your keyboard sir. At the left hand side, very bottom of your keyboard, there must be a key on which a four squares or four flags has been made, which is known as a Windows key or a Microsoft key. Did you found that key? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. You have to do one thing. You have to press that key along with letter R, R as in Romeo, at the same time, okay? Alright. Okay. Oh, a wee box came up. Uh, it says run. Okay, can you please read out what is written on that run box? Uh, it says type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. And then it says open, and then a, another box beside it. Okay. On that box, can you see an option where you can type anything? Yeah, the wee box next to open. Yeah. First of all, tell me, like something is already written there or it is cleared. Now it's clear. Oh, so you have to type with me. Just type there, www. Dot w, w, w. The word dot or the actual dot? the dot like a period okay okay after after that you as an united okay l as in linda okay t as in tom okay r as in romeo all right a is an apple. Okay. V is an Victor. Alright. I is an ice cream. Yep. E is an echo. Yep. W is an whiskey. Yep, love whiskey. Yeah. Oh, after that, E is an echo. Okay. R is in Romeo. Okay. Put a period. Yep. N is a Nancy. Yep. E as an echo. Yep. T as in Tom. Okay. Now, can you please spell out me word by word? What do you have noted down on that box? Uh, www.ultraviewer.net. 
All right. Can you see your options below there? Like OK, cancel, and browse. Uh, yeah. Click on OK and tell me what can you see after that on your screen. It's uh, brought up a website, uh, Ultra Viewer. Okay, what can you see on your screen? Can you see a green download box? A green download box? Uh, yeah. Click on that. Alright, it brought up a wee box. Android. It says uh, Ultra Viewer setup uh, could harm your device. Do you want to uh, keep it anyway? Yes, you have to download the file. What options will you see on your screen? Uh, open file. Click on open file. Uh, do you allow this app to take or to make a changes to your device? Yes or no? Yes, click on yes. Okay. Yes, click on yes. Okay, it's brought up a uh, setup ultra viewer. Click on next. Okay. Then again click on next. Okay. Then again click on next. Then in click on install. Okay. You sound like you do this all the time, eh? Right. I just know how about no, to turn on the computer. Oh, oh. Okay, so don't worry about it. I will tell you each and everything. But first of all, when you see finish option on that box, simply let me know about it, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, it says uh, finish. I'm not. Click I'm on Italian. finish. Click on finish. Okay, it's brought up a box. Uh. Can you see your ID, your password? Yeah, I see a wee uh, orange light. Yeah. Uh, it says uh, trying to connect. Okay, 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 sir. Okay. Just provide me the ID and password, sir. Your ID and password. Tell it, me that numbers. Uh, there's nothing in there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's uh, popped okay, up. Okay, okay. Yeah, it says. Uh, Okay. The ID is a uh, six four O okay. nine four O three four. Let me get my glasses. I'll on a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, I can see better now. Uh, right, okay, the uh, password? Yes. Uh, it's uh, 99183. Okay, now hold the line for a minute. Let me just connect your device with the Microsoft Secure Server, okay? Okay. Yeah. The uh, Franculo was at there. Eh? Yes, I do speak Italian. Sounds like a gunshot there. Eh? Alright, so are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Where did my uh, computer make a uh, sound like a gunshot? Like a... What, sir? My computer made the sound of like a gunshot. You know what? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Because your computer is successfully connected with the Microsoft Secure Server. That's why. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, I, th I thought it was the uh, Chinese coming after me. All right, sir. Now, I hope that you are on your home screen, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah. 
Now again you have to press the Microsoft key, four squares key along with letter R, R as in Romeo at the same time. Okay. All right. First of all, you have to make it clear. Make it clear. Whatever written on that box, make it clear. I hit the backspace. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Now type there C is in Charlie. C is in Charlie. Okay. Amazon Mary. Amazon Mary. Okay. After that, D is in dog. All right. Now click on OK. Click on OK. OK. Now can you see a black box on your screen? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Do one thing: maximize that box on your full screen. Make it big. Make uh, it the square. Yeah. OK. Now let let me tell you what you have to do on that box, sir. This is the command box on which you have to run a command which will be regarding these hackers. Like you have to run a command, I will guide you step by step and after that we get to know about these hackers. Like what these hackers are doing in your device and what all the devices they have hacked in your home, okay? Alright. So look at the left hand side top of your screen. Can you see a white cursor is blinking like on and off, on and off again and again? Next, uh, my name, Franco. Right. Do yeah. one thing, type there, C is in Charlie. C is in Charlie. D is in dog. Put okay. a period. Again, put a period. Okay. Now hit enter. Now type again CD period period. Okay. And then hit enter. Now hit enter. Okay. Right. After that, you have to type D as in dog. Okay. I as in ice cream. Okay. R as in Romeo. Alright. Put a forward slash. S as in Sam. Okay. Now, now hit enter. Oh. And when and when you hit enter, can you see a scanning is running on your device, right? Yeah. Can you read that? Now. What's up? Oh God. How you meant to read that, eh? So listen. But uh, when this scan is stopped, simply let me know about it because this scan will show us what these hackers are doing in your device. And let me tell you, this scan will take some time. Like it will take two or three minutes. So in the meantime. You have a cup of coffee with you, or you can choose a glass of whiskey in your hand if you want, okay? Uh, I think I'll get a sambuca. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, but back in a minute. Okay. Hello, All right, everyone. sir, can you hear me? No. Uh, 
Uh, were you saying something, son? What, sir? I said, were you saying something? No, so I'm, uh, what can you see on your screen? The scan is stopped or not? Uh, yeah, it stopped. Sorry, I went to get a drink. Uh, okay, okay, just get a drink and let me know, okay? I got it, I got it, I'm back. Oh, okay, okay, so. Now, yeah. let me t uh, just look at the bottom of that screen. Can you see any final report or end of report? Uh, yeah, final report. Uh, C is All not right. recognized. Now, listen to me. Okay, okay, listen to me, sir. Look below the final report. There was some headlines written over there. Like some different, different headlines one by one out capital letters. What you have to do? You have to read out that headings for me. So after that, I can explain you each and everything one by one what is going on with the device, okay? Yeah, some sick account has been on my computer. Illegal visits made oh, on okay. pornography website. I don't look at that. Uh, okay, read out that, read out uh, that type of line. Child pornography one one, videos. Okay? Uh, come on. Oh god. Okay, go ahead. Uh, debit cards and credit cards uh, were used on pornhub.com. Oh uh, financial okay, information ahead. used on Pornhub. Uh, careful, okay. uh, illegal purchases were made using cards starting with four, three, five, and six. Uh, phone lines oh, and ahead. network are hacked. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so now. Yeah, they don't know who they're messing with, eh? Let okay, okay. Just hold the line for a minute. Let me just check from my end also, so I can explain you each and everything perfectly, right? All right, hey. All right. Sorry about the dropping the C word for everyone there, but uh, yeah, it had to be done. So, uh, the love of the child pornography one, just a second. Well, I'm getting used to it. So, uh, I try and keep my expletives in Italian. Well, I hope everyone's having a good. Well, it'll probably be a weekend by the time. All right, so I do. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was uh, showing them my wife. Okay, okay, sir. Don't worry. Now, so as you can see here in report that there are some illegal visits made on a pornographic website, www.pornhub.com, at 4:40 a.m. this morning. So. Was it you who was watching any pornography websites or videos at 4.40 a.m. this morning? I don't get up until 10, eh? How could it be me? Okay. I don't look at that stuff. Okay. Why, why look okay. at a hamburger whenever I got the steak at home, eh? Okay, okay, so, so sorry. But that's my job. So is there any chance anybody else visited this type of website? No. No, okay. no one in our family looks at that. Is... Okay, okay, listen me sir. Let me tell you what is that Pornhub. The Pornhub is a paid porn website and it is mandatory to put a financial information to log in there. So is there any chance anybody have put your financial information over there? Uh, no. I don't give my uh, info out. Okay, sir. So that does confirm that widgets are made by the hackers by using your network because you are telling me you are sleeping at that time and you are not the one who was watching any pornography videos, right? Right, yeah. So that does confirm that it was done by the hackers and also it seems so that child pornography videos has been downloaded and I hope that you know that these type of child porn videos is totally illegal and offensive crime in all over the world, right? Yeah. 
but you don't need to worry about it sir because you are not the culprit you are the victim of hacking so microsoft is here to help you out okay so you telling me that this uh porn hub is uh hosting child yeah, pornography maybe sir maybe maybe these hackers do what first of all these hackers have hacked all of your devices like whatever the device is in your home these old devices are totally hacked by the hackers then these hackers have get access of your IP address then they have downloaded some child pornography videos by using your network by using your name okay okay yeah and at last sir, it is showing that there was some illegal purchase made using some debit card and credit card which is starting with some numbers I can see some debit and credit card numbers on my screen which is used by the hackers so first of all do one thing just grab all of your debit card and credit card in your hand and let me know about it so I can check like these hackers have used your financial information or these hackers have used someone else financial information right uh yeah probably I don't understand yeah, so how just they grab all of yeah, I only, so have, like to, I only have two cards. Question. One's a credit card and the other one's a, a V or a MasterCard debit. Okay, so it means that you have only one debit and one credit, right? Yeah. Alright, so first of all, what you have to check? You have to check like any of your card is start with four or three. Like the first starting digit of your card is four or three. Simply let me know about it. Because if you have any card with that number, so it will be used by the hackers. That's why. Well, I don't use my uh, credit card anywhere apart from in the store. Okay, just I don't use just it on the line. Though, like my uh, son, he told me never to okay. use the credit card. Always use the debit card. It's easier to cancel. Okay, it's easier so to ever, uh, you know, blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm not asking about anything of your financial information. I'm just telling you, you have to check, like any of your cards is starting with four or three or not. Just tell me that. Yeah, only in my credit card. It starts over four. Okay. Okay. Now you have to check, like, do you have any debit card with five or six or six or five? Yeah, First my, uh, six, five. my MasterCard. It starts with five. Oh, my God. So, my, it might be the hackers have used your financial information. So, at that time, it's my recommendation and suggestion to you, sir. Like, if you check one thing only on that computer, you have to do one thing. You have to check the last 48 hours transaction of your debit card. And if you found any transaction by the name of child pornography or any pornography website or any transaction which is not made by you, simply let me know about it. But as you know that all of your devices is hacked by the hackers and your computer is connected with the secure server. So you have to check only on that computer, okay? Alright. Do we go to it now? So can you able to do Yes, you have to do the now, but you have to do only on that computer, okay? Okay. Yeah, go ahead and let me know about it when you're done. Uh, no, there's nothing there. 
All right, so make sure so you check each or every of your checking and saving account. Yeah, there's nothing. Alright, so do one thing, just log out of your banking and let me know about it when you close everything, okay? Okay, after closed. Yeah. Do one thing, just uh, minimize the black screen also. Alright. Now, just press the Microsoft key, four squares key and R is in Romeo. Uh, so, just press the Microsoft key alone at that time, single time. Now, press the key Amazon Mary. Okay. Amazon Romeo. All right. T is in Tom. Yeah. Put a dot. Yeah. E is an echo. Yeah. Do one thing, sir. Just press Microsoft key and let it be at the same time. D is in dog. Okay, done it. Now press Microsoft key. Press Microsoft key and R is in Romeo at the same time. Now, first of all, make it make the run box clear. Make it clear. Okay. Now, type there M R T M is in Mary. R is in Romeo. T is in Tom. Put a dot. Now, E is an echo. Okay. After that, X X is an X mess. X E E X E. Okay. Now click on OK. Click on OK. It says, uh, now Windows. what can you see on your screen? It says uh, Windows cannot find MRT.exe. Alright, so do one thing. Click on OK. Now, do not do anything on your device, just leave your computer as it is, because okay. I have to work on your computer to remove these hackers, okay? Okay. So, as you know, the phone, whatever the devices in your home are totally hacked by the hackers, like your phone lines, your network, your all of your devices in your home, right? Yeah. So, let me tell you, sir, how, how these hackers have hacked your phone lines and what it means. So, this means that... These hackers have also hacked your phone lines and with whomsoever you have a word within the last two days these hackers had already listened to those conversations and might be right now they are also listening our conversation. So first of all may I know that is it a landline or cell phone on which we are talking right now? It's my cell phone. It's your cell phone and your cell phone number is 347-630-2551 right? Uh, yeah. Alright sir, so as you know that your phone lines are hacked by the hackers, so whatever the device like your cell phone, your landline, all devices in your home are totally hacked by the hackers, right? Okay, that's what you keep saying. And your debit, and your debit card and credit cards is star also starting with the numbers which is used by the hackers, right? Apparently, yeah. Okay, so first of all do one thing sir. You just grab a pen and piece of paper and note down some of my information. Okay. Now where's my pen? Ah. There's always something, eh? 
Okay, have a pen and a piece of paper. Right, now just note down information, my, note down my name, my name is Harry, H-A-R-R-Y. Okay. Now, note down my Microsoft Headquarters employee code. My code is Amazon Mary. Okay. S as in Sam. Alright. T as in Tom. Okay. Seven two eight three. Seven two eight three. Okay. Yeah. Now note down my Microsoft Secure Line number. On that secure line we can talk freely over there without worrying about any hackers because right now the hackers are listening our conversation, right? Okay. Yeah, so note down my number. My number is six five seven. Six five seven two three seven two three seven. Okay. Hello. So it's eight three six zero. So six five seven two three seven. Yeah. After that, it's eight three six zero. Eight three six zero. Okay, I got it. I broke up a wee right, bit. Right now, what you have to do, sir? Yeah. Now listen to me. What you have to do, sir? As you know, the hackers are listening our conversation right now. So you have to call me back right now by using your cell phone on my cell phone number. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So just hang up this line and call me right now on my cell phone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying before, it's really interrupted. Um, hope everyone's having a good weekend because by the time this goes up, it will be the weekend. This is Thursday at the minute. Um, I'm about to drop my connection and get him a wee bit in the flustered side. So, right, so six, five, seven, two, three, seven, eight, three. All right, so are you there? Uh, yeah, Ari. Yeah, can you hear me? I can indeed, yeah. All right, so, so as you know that right now we are talking on the Microsoft Secure Line. So any hacker cannot be able to listen our any conversation because this is the secure line, sir. On that, we can talk freely, right? Okay, not a problem. I get it, yeah. We use them in... Yeah. Uh, 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 well, yeah, we, we use secure lines in my line of job. Yeah, because your phone lines are hacked by the hackers. Your cell phone, your phone, the line line is hacked by the hackers. If you call anybody from your end, sir, if you are receive any call from anybody over your any device, the hackers can easily listen your conversation. Okay. All right. Yeah. So right now, sir, if you check the same thing with your bank headquarters as well, but make sure while checking with your bank headquarters, you are on the secure line because your phone lines are hacked. Right. Uh, apparently, yeah. Yeah. Because if you call your bank headquarters from your end, the hackers can easily listen your conversation. And if these hackers get to know that you are talking with your bank headquarters regarding this hacking case, they will get access in your bank account right away. Right, sir? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm 70. I know so, nothing like about the computers. So, oh, let me tell you, sir, how they... Because, like, if you call your bank headquarters, sir, from your end, from your cell phone, the hackers will listen your conversation. And if these hackers get to know that you're talking with your bank headquarters, they will do anything with your bank, right? Oh, okay. 
All right. So what I'm going to do for you, sir, as you have already noted down some of my information, like with whom you're talking, you are talking with them, Harry, right? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to connect you, sir, with your bank headquarters by the help of this Microsoft Secure Line. And when I'm connecting you with your bank headquarters, sir, I will be disconnected from that Secure Line automatically because Microsoft and the bank never allow three-way call or any conference call. Okay. Okay. And let me tell you what you have to talk with your bank. When you go to connect with your live banker, sir, you have to tell them that please put my bank account on high alert security for next forty-eight hours. Okay. Okay. Give me one over a minute. I want to write this down. Oh, so, okay. Just note it down. So you have to tell them please put my bank account on high alert security. Okay, I got a rota. But if your bank asks you like for how much time you need high alert security, you have to tell them for 48 hours, okay? Okay. Yeah, and so if your bank asks you like why are you not calling from your own phone, own registered phone, why are you calling me from the secure line? You have to tell them simply that my phone lines are hacked. That's why I choose that secure line to call you, okay? Okay. Yeah, and if your bank asks you, like, with whom you're talking with from Microsoft, you have my information, you have my name, you have a Microsoft employee code, you have my secure line number. You can provide my information to them. So they will contact me and they will ask me about your situation and I can tell each and everything regarding you, that your device, your phone lines are hacked, right? Um, yeah. All right. So right now, sir, I don't know which bank you are dealing with. So look at the back side of your debit card. There is a toll-free number or customer service number. Just provide me that number so I can connect you with your bank headquarters one by one. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to go get it there. Oh. Just look at the back side of your debit card. There is a toll free number, a customer service number, like 800 number. Just provide me that. Yeah, uh, two ticks. I don't have it uh, straight at hand. Just provide me the number, sir. Yeah, I'm getting you the number, eh? I don't have it sitting next to me. Okay, okay. I have to get my fat ass off a chair. And then walk my fat ass over to the wallet. What, sir? I have to get my fat ass off my chair. And I have to get my fat ass to walk over to the wallet. So you can do one thing. You can open Google first of all on your computer. Open your browser. I'm away from my computer. I've got the wallet in my hand. So I'm about to get the card. Where are you, where are you going? What to are get, you right To now? get the number for you. You told me to go get it off my okay, card. Okay, okay, just grab ah, your debit Frank. card and look back side, okay? Yeah, I know it's on the back side of the card. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay, okay, just check. If you don't phone number, let me know. Okay, I got the phone number. Oh, just uh, provide me the number? Yeah, it's 1-800. All right. 242. Five eight four six. Okay. All right, sir. Now just hold the line for a minute. Let me check the number, like which bank you are dealing with, okay? First National. First National America Bank, right? Yeah. Okay, just wait a minute, ma. Wait a minute, sir. All right, so what I'm going to do for you, sir, I'm going to connect you with your first National America Bank headquarters, okay? Okay. The reason I'm connecting you with your bank headquarters, sir, because I'm not connecting you with your local branch. I'm connecting you with your bank headquarters because at the time you are totally hacked by the hackers and your bank headquarters will help you more, 
okay okay and do you know sir like whenever you call any bank headquarters any institution there is a robo call or ivr from your bank side like you when i when i connect you with your bank headquarters your bank bank will allow a automatic robo call like press 1 for that press 2 for that do you know how to follow that i do to yeah. connect with your live bank not a schmuck you know that yeah all right sir so now just bear with me hold the line for 2 or 3 minutes let me just connect you with your bank headquarters and when you're talking with your bank headquarters from my back end i am working on your computer so if any anything is doing on your computer take it simply because i am working on your computer to remove these hackers okay okay all right sir now just hold the line for 2 or 3 minutes okay 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 sir. It's Bank of America's uh, fraud line. <laughs> So uh, everyone enjoying this so far, I hope you are, because so many. Of my numbers weren't working. And it's quite annoying. problems getting from side to side because my VMs are larger in resolution because I was setting things up um, and I forgot to bring it back to the normal size so I can move in and out seamlessly between screen to screen so that's why you'll see my mouse sitting over here and the next thing it pops up over here somewhere so uh, Well, I hope you like the new character, Franco Gambino. Um, old mafia boss, not a schmuck. Loves the curse on Italian. Gives dogs abuse, which will happen. Um, just give it time. Probably obviously kicking himself at the minute. So, uh, fingers crossed it works. For calling First National Customer go. Service. All First National calls may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Para Español o Primero Seis. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For a company directory, press 1. To make a payment or to speak with a customer service representative, press 2 or stay on the line. Please hold while I transfer your call. Yeah, hello? Hello? Thank you for calling First National Bank. This is Cynthia. How may I assist you? Uh, I, uh, yeah, I've uh, been told to put my uh, bank on a uh, high alert security. Okay. First of all, sir, I see that you are not calling from any of your registered number to us. Uh, yeah. The call, yeah, uh, the call we have received is from Microsoft server. May I know the reason, sir, why you are not calling from any of your registered number to us? Yeah, apparently uh, my phone lines have been hacked and uh, I've been told to use this number. Oh. Sorry to hear about it, sir. So, since you are not calling from any of your registered number to us, I would like to do some extra verification in that case. I hope you won't mind me doing that. Uh, no, not at all. Okay, okay. 
For the verification, could you please help me out with your first name, your last name, as per on your accounts? Yeah, it's Franco Gambino. Okay, it's Franco? Franco, yeah. And how do you spell your last name? Could you please spell that for me? Yeah, it's a G A uh -huh. M B uh -huh. I mm -hmm. N mm -hmm. O Gambino. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Okay, it's Franco Gambino, right? Yeah. Okay, could you please help me out with the last four digits of your social security number? Why do you need my SSN for? Sure, it's a part of verification. We need to verify the last four digits of your social security number. It's just a basic verification steps, so we can go ahead and pull up your account details, and we can assist you accordingly. We can help you out accordingly. All That's right, well, a part right. of verification. Okay. Uh, well, it's five seven four three. Uh huh. Okay, it's five seven four three, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, could you please verify me with your date of birth? Yeah, it's the second of September, nineteen fifty three. Uh huh. Okay, could you please help me out with your physical address? Yeah, it's twenty sixty nine. Valentine Avenue. Which avenue, sir? It's Valentine's Avenue. Valentine. Okay, it's is it Valentine or it's Valentine? Valentine V, as in Valentine Day. Okay, we like okay, we like Veronica, right? Yeah. Okay, Valentine Avenue. What's after that? Bronx. Okay, Bronx, New York. Okay. Yeah. And go ahead with the zip code, please. Yeah, it's one zero four five seven. Okay, so it's twenty sixty nine Valentine Avenue, Bronx, New York, ten four five seven. Right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. One zero four five seven. Okay. Okay, so you want me to put extra securities on your account? You want me to put high alert securities on your account? Yeah, please. Apparently for uh, 48 hours. Okay, for the next 48 hours, right? Yeah. Okay, sure. Thank you for the verification. I'll have a check on your account and I'll put your accounts on high alert securities on monitoring for the next 48 hours. I'll be right back to you within few minutes. Stay on the line, stay connected. Okay. okay? All right, thank you. Dalton. All right, sir. All right, thank you. You're welcome. No problem. I'll be right back to you. Stay on the line. Okay. Okay, sir. Do you me know? Uh, yes, I am, yeah. Okay. So I have pulled up your account details. I would like to share the balance with you first. You are holding multiple accounts with us. Uh, several accounts, uh, the one which ends with 3198, which is your premium account, in which you are holding the balance of uh, 100, it's one, it's for, you are holding a savings, a money market, and a premium account, right? Yeah, I am, yeah. Okay, so it's for uh, $1,507,277.36, your savings, which ends with 1329, in which the balance is uh, $2,059,141.93, your money market, which ends with 6993, in which the balance is $15,637.72. Okay. Your last transaction was made on 22nd of March, uh, which ends with account 3198. And it was a wire transfer to Banca d'Italia 
uh, the accounts ends with four two five one. Yeah. And yeah. it was for seventy five thousand. Yeah. And your second last transaction was made on twenty second of March, which accounts end with three one nine eight for Circle K. Nine four eight five seven, and the amount was for seventy five dollars. Your last third transaction was made on twenty second of March itself, which was from your account ends with three one nine eight. Uh, that's a withdrawal, and the amount was for one fifty dollars. The these are your last three transactions. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have put the higher securities on your account. Uh, when we were putting the higher securities on your account, I went through your account statements, and I have seen that a schedule charge on your uh, money market account, which ends with six nine nine three for thirteen thousand five hundred dollar, and it is going to some overseas location in southern China with the address www.pornhub.net. And it's for child pornography subscription. Have you made any such transaction to any overseas location? No, only to my brother. Okay. Do you know anything about this transaction? Were you the one who has made any such transaction to any overseas location, like in China? No, I don't know anyone in China. I know okay. a lot of people in Chinatown, but not in China. Okay, you have no you have no connection with China or to any overseas location, right? No, none whatsoever. Tell me this: Can okay. you find this Stronzo? Okay, you huh? Are you able to find uh -huh. this Stronzo so I can uh, help him sleep better with the fishes? Huh? Okay, sure. Uh, let me go ahead and cancel this transaction. Okay, let me try to go ahead and find that when this charge was made on your account. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. Just give me a few minutes. I'll be right back to you. Stay connected. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you so much, sir. For your patience, are you still there with me? Yeah, I am. Okay. So, uh, I have tried to cancel the charge for you, but I'm so sorry to inform you, sir. Uh, we cannot cancel or dispute this charge. Why? Because we can see this charge has been made early morning today at 4.33 a.m. And when this charge was made on your account, we gave you a call on your registered phone number itself for the confirmation, for the verification, whether it's you making the transaction or not, as it is a high dollar transaction. Plus okay. overseas well, I don't have any missed calls so or was, anything like that on my phone. At 4.33 this morning. Yeah, there was no uh, no missed calls on my phone. And I wasn't okay. Are you it. sure you haven't received any calls? Uh, yeah, I'm 100% positive. Okay. Uh, well, uh, as you said that your phone lines are also hacked, that's the reason you have been connected us through Microsoft Secure Server because your lines are not secure and your phone lines are being hacked, right? Yeah, that's right. That's what Microsoft said. Okay. So in that case, I need to get in touch with them so I can work accordingly and we can get all the updates for your situation about your networks and everything. So accordingly, we can ask for a way, ask for a solution uh, from higher authorities. So if you can help me out with any of that information of the person to whom you had a conversation, any of that information of that executive from Microsoft to whom you was talking to so I can look after it. Yeah, you give me uh, his name and his uh, Microsoft ID. Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah, his name's Harry. Uh-huh. And it's... Uh, M for Mike, S for uh -huh. Sam, T uh -huh. for Tango, 7, uh -huh. 2, 8, 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. And do you need his phone number? Yeah, sure. 
It's a uh, six, five, seven, uh -huh. two, three, seven, eight, uh -huh. three, six, oh. That's it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay, thank you for the information. I'll go ahead and get in touch with them so I can get all your reports and all your updates from them so we can proceed accordingly, okay? And about the church, the best I can do for you is at this point of time, I can get in touch with the Federal Reserve System. I can talk to them so uh, they can come up with a solution and we can able to recover your funds back into your respective account, okay? Okay. Okay, please stay on the line. Stay connected. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm laying the bait now, as you would put it, panicking, going into my bank account and checking to see is there anything like that there. So that's what I'm doing. So there's, see what I'll do is if they go to block the screen, I just have to click on my network, drop it come back on again and well switch it over and then I can just use my software to show the screen so uh, fingers crossed anyway that's what's gonna happen uh, so I don't know how they're gonna get around this with it being a fake bank account you know there's no refund there's no nothing when well, they might go for a refund you never know you know Microsoft go oh we're sorry you know our software blah 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 I don't know so anyway just play it by ear see how it goes um, that's the thing you have to think quick on your feet in this game because um, they can throw your curveball at any stage so um, You'll probably see me in a few seconds. Thank you so much for your patience. Are you still there? Yeah, I am, doll. Yeah. Okay. All right, sir. Okay. So I just got in touch with Microsoft head office and uh, their team has forwarded all your updates to me. I had a word with Harry who is working on your case right now and he said that they have done some diagnostics on your device on your computer and they have done some scans about some threats and about some troubleshoot is that correct yeah it is yeah yeah okay okay and uh they got a final report uh they got a report of the case is that your phone lines has been hacked 
your network has been hacked by some foreign hackers and they have found some some of the foreign IP address of on your network on your device and they have compromised your phone lines also your information has been used right yeah that's right yeah okay so that is the reason sir that they have asked you to connect with us through secure line only why because if you will move forward and if you will make any forward step from your end or if you make a call to anyone from your end they can get to know about the same so if the hackers get to know about the same they will definitely try to move forward with your information and they might not allow us to do that they will definitely try to put interruptions that is the reason all right so what do i so have if to do anyhow we got this Yes, if anyhow we got disconnected, you don't need to do anything from your end, okay? You just need to wait for next 5-10 minutes. Within next 5-10 minutes, I'll give you a call through secure line by any chance or whenever we got disconnected, okay? Okay. Yes, if we get disconnected by any chance, you don't need to do anything you just need to be patient you need to wait for next 10 minutes within the next 10 minutes i'll give you a call back through secure line with the help of microsoft secure servers okay 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 uh, now sir about the charge i got in touch over the federal reserve system why because as the federal reserve system is the central body itself they are the central bank here in states that is the reason i got in touch with them because as they are the central government itself so we can get a solution so as the federal reserve bank is the central bank in states and also the federal reserve board is committed to support responsible fintech innovation both by the firms we regulate directly and in the financial market broadly and the federal reserve system is the central banking system of the united states uh, which was created on December 23, 1913. So with the enactment of the Federal Reserve System Act, that we can series of financial panics, whatever the financial institution here in the monetary system, we are being guided by them because uh, they are the one who is the central body itself. Right? Okay. They are the board of govern they are the board of government governors itself. So as according to them, I got in touch with them and about the charge, uh, the charge cannot be disputed. But yes, they do have a solution for you through which we will go ahead and recover your funds back into your respective account. Okay? Okay. So that's the good news for you. Okay. Now, uh, the option, the solution which we got from them, uh, the way through which we can recover your funds back, that's called duplicate charge. So, are you familiar with duplicate charge? Have you ever heard about them? Uh, I know what a duplicate is, but I've never heard of a duplicate charge. Okay, like you are not familiar with duplicate payment or duplicate transaction or duplicate charge, right? You haven't heard about that. I know what a duplicate is. I'm just saying I've never done one before. Okay, what's your understanding about it? A duplicate charge, making the same type of charge for the same amount. Yeah, that's right. And how did you got to know about this? Because I know what duplicate means. It means to do the same again. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, first of all, may I know, sir, does anyone else except you has access to your account or any of your account information no just me okay you live by yourself sir or you live with your family no i live with my wife okay with your wife is she is she aware about the situation yeah i told like her about the case yeah i told her i had her in looking at that okay. uh, we command thingy that uh ari brought up on the screen Okay, is she home at the moment with you? No, she's away out. She just left about 20 minutes ago. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the problem is that since uh, the charge which was made by the hackers on your account, uh, 
that charge has been generated at 4.33 this morning and that's a scheduled charge. It has to be taken out from your account for the next three hours from now. Uh, so about that, we got in touch with them and uh, through which, uh, through duplicate charge, we can able to recover your funds back into your respective account. Now, let me tell you how. So in banking, a duplicate charge is something like when there are two transactions exactly similar in nature, like with the same merchant by the same mode of payment for the same product and of the same amount. Such kind of transactions reflect as duplicate transactions on the banking portal itself. Like when the customer charge twice for the same product with the same mode of payment and for the same amount with the same merchant, that reflect as a duplicate charge. So if we get a duplicate charge, we put a hold on both the charges and call the customer for the confirmation whether the customer wants both the charges to go through or one should go through or none of them should go through. Same in your case. We will have to create an encrypted duplicate charge. So when we do that, we will have the right, we will get the authority to put a hold on both the charges or to reverse the existing charge which was made by the hackers. And that's how you will get your funds back into your respective account without involving your name in child pornography. Because as the existing one which was made by the hackers on your account, that's for child pornography. And as child porn is a crime in our country, we cannot ask you to go and buy child pornography subscriptions, right? Yeah, I was thinking that. I was going to say, how can I make a duplicate charge if it's for the nasty stuff? Right. Exactly. Which is an offensive crime, so we cannot ask you to go and buy child pornography subscriptions. Absolutely not, right? Yeah, exactly. So how we will be doing it? Yes. How we will be doing it? We will be doing it in the form of electronic vouchers or gift certificates or gift cards. Have you ever heard about them? Uh, like a, a target card? No, it's not like a, a target. Yeah, that's also kind of a gift card. Like uh, the target is the only one. There are several stores like Target or Home Depot, Lowe's, like several. There are several yeah, no, I, stores, I, I bought a, not just the Target. Yeah, no, I just know the target. I don't know any other... Okay, other no person. problem. Okay, no problem. So what we, what we need to do is that to in order to make a duplicate charge, we need two transactions exactly similar in nature. The existing one, which was made by the hackers, that's for child pornography subscription. So as we cannot ask you to do that. That's why we need to do that in the form of electronic vouchers, in the form of gift cards. Now, since that's the simplest and safest way to convert your funds in the form of electronic vouchers because everything going to be done physically. Also, no hackers will able to get to know about the same that we are trying to move forward and we are trying to secure your information. Also, what we can do is once we get the du uh, duplicate charge, once we get the gift certificate for the same amount, we will going to link those gift certificates with the child pornography website without involving your name in it and without involving the hackers in it. And when we do that, when we do that after that, when we make the duplicate charge, when we make the duplicate payment, after that, you will get a call again by the Federal Bank itself, by the Federal Reserve Bank itself for the confirmation for both the charges. It would be an automated call. and. The call would be like this. If you recognize both the charges, going to www.pornhub.net. If you want to allow both the charges, press 1. If you want one should go through, press 2. Or if you want none of them should go through, press 3. That time you have to choose option 3. When you do that after your confirmation, you will get your funds back into your respective account. That's how we do it without involving your name and child pornography. Okay, okay? that sounds a bit uh, complicated, so uh, you uh, might need to help me walk uh, through it. Sorry? It sounds complicated, so I need you to, uh, okay. I would need to help walking through with that. No problem, sir. I'll help you out throughout the whole procedure. 
I'll guide you throughout the whole procedure. Okay? I'll okay. be on the line with you throughout the whole procedure and I'll guide you throughout the whole procedure. Till the time you will create the duplicate charge, till the time you get your money back into your respective account, I'll guide you throughout the whole time. You don't need to be worried for it. Okay, right, sir? Okay. okay, I thought you meant you were going to okay, add now, up, but I had to go do it all myself. No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. That's not uh, the thing. Uh, it's okay. Nothing okay. like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have been assigned for your case. Let me make it straight. I have been assigned for your case. As you are dealing with the fraud department, I'm the senior executive here. Okay, so I'll guide you throughout the whole procedure. That I can forward each and every information to the higher authorities so they can work accordingly. Also, the cyber cell team is trying to trace the location of the IP address which has been found on your device or your network. Okay, so they are keep in touch with us. If I get any updates from them, I'll update you about the same as well. So All make right. sure, sir, from now until we are in the middle of the procedure or until you get all your money back into your respective account, do not make any phone call to any, any third person to anyone, okay? Okay. I will. And do not answer any other phone call. Not, a, not on your home phone, not even on your cell phone. It's not, about, it's not about a particular device, okay? It's about the network which has been compromised. So okay. keep that in okay. mind, sir, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do not answer any other phone call. Don't make any phone call, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, without wasting any more time, sir, I want you to get dressed quickly. And first of all, sir, may I know how much time it is going to take you to get dressed? No, about five minutes. I just have to put my shoes okay. on. Okay. So, okay, no problem. Perfectly fine. And you are holding a debit card with us, right? Yeah, I am, yeah. Okay. So I want you to carry your debit card. Okay. If you have any other credit card, carry all of them. Just in case of emergency, you might need them. Okay. And also, one thing I would like to mention is that considering about your facts and considering about your situation we are going to take the liability for you for the same amount also we will going to credit it the same amount into your account so you can use bank money to create the duplicate charge okay all right okay okay now i want you to get dressed quickly also do you have a car do you drive i do yeah Okay, and may I know, sir, which phone uh, on we are talking right now? Is is that an iPhone or an Android or a smartphone? Which device it is? It's an uh, old Android. Okay, that means that's, an, that's a smartphone, like that's an Android, right? Yeah, it's got the touch screen. Okay, so you know, okay, so how good you are with your cell phone? Not at all. I still can't make calls <laughs> okay, on a problem. Okay, like, oh, okay. Like, if I text you, okay, will you able to receive that text message? Do you know how to open a text or how to send a text? Uh, I can, let me see, I know. Okay, so like, if I text you, do you know how to open it? Uh... No, the way message comes up, no one texts me anyway. I can barely see the writing. Okay. Okay, let me, okay, let's try. Let's have a try. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So, I'm sending you a text. Uh, let's say, hey, okay. Okay, check your text. Have you received any text? Uh, not yet, no. Okay, just look on your phone, just check your screen. Uh, have you got any notification of a text? Uh, Do you see any notification? Hello? Uh, hiya, I'm looking out for Harry. 
Yes, sir. Harry has connected to your call, Cynthia. This is Cynthia. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, sir. Somehow hi. we got disconnected and I yeah, have tried to every call time. you many times on your number. No, nothing rang. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If I get a text message while I'm on the phone, my phone just disconnects and I don't see any message. I don't see anything. I have to get a new phone. Okay, so... Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, like, if I call you from any different number or if anyone calls you from any unknown numbers, uh, will you able to receive that call on your phone? Yeah, I usually get the uh, phone calls. Yeah, it's not a problem. Okay, but I have tried to call you several times, many times on your number from two different numbers, but it was going to your voicemail. Have you received any missed calls from this number or from any other number? No. No, I haven't. No, I told him said any. I don't know what I have done. I have done something with the the phone, and I don't know what. I have to get my son out okay, to look at it. Okay, like if anyone called you, you uh, you receive that call. Yeah, majority of the time, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, do one thing first of all. Just save this number with my name, Cynthia. Save my number with my name, Cynthia. Okay. I have a yeah, wrote right down now, anyway. Dave. No problem. So let me try to give you a call from another number as well, so I can make sure, like if anyhow we got disconnected, I can call you from different number, okay? Okay. Okay, le I'm giving you a call. Just check your phone. Are you getting any call or no? Just say yes or no, okay? Okay. Yeah, just check your phone. I'm giving you a call. Did you receive any call? No, there's nothing. Okay, that means like if anyone calls you or if any unknown numbers call you, you will not be able to receive that call, it seems oh, like. That's why I never got the phone call from the bank. Yeah, uh, okay. And that's why when I tried to call you right now as well, that's why you never got any missed calls from me or from any other number. That's the problem. Okay. Do one thing, save my number. Yes, just save my number first of all, this number on which we are talking right now by my name, Cynthia. Save this number right now. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, so if anyhow we got disconnected, I can give you a call and you can receive that call. Okay. Yeah, save this number uh, without wasting any more time. Okay, you did that? Uh, yeah, got it done. Okay, so you have saved my number by my name, Cynthia, right? Yeah, I have, yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, if anyhow we got disconnected, okay, I'll give you a call or else, or else, if you haven't, if you will not heard anything, if you will not hear anything uh, from me from next 10 minutes, you can give me a call directly onto this number, okay? This is the secure line. You can give me a call onto this line, okay? Directly okay. from your cell phone. Okay? okay? Yep, no problem. Okay, 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 perfect. Okay, now, uh, are you ready to step out? Are you ready to leave your house? Uh, yeah, I'm ready and all. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, uh, do let me know first of all, as we need to stay connected for a bit longer, sir. So may I know how much battery you are having in your cell phone? What's the battery percentage? Uh, it's a uh, ninety-eight percent. Okay. Yeah. What's the battery? Ninety-eight percent. How much battery you are? Ninety-eight. Perfect. And may I know? Do you have a car charger? Will you able to charge your cell phone while driving? Uh, no. You no. don't have a car charger? No, I, I don't have one of them, no. Okay, do you have a power bank? Like my, if you my, go battery, out, my battery lasts uh, up to three days. 
because I don't use it. After three days. After the, yeah, if I okay, don't. Okay, if use you it. don't use that. Yeah. Okay, but if you used your phone, so it will last up to twenty four hours. Uh, roughly about that. Yeah. Maximum. Okay. Okay. But you don't have extra batteries. You don't have any power bank, and you don't have any car charger. No. Right? No, no, I don't do that type Nothing. of technology. Oh. Okay, and you just charge your cell phone or at your home, right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. So, uh, carry, you have carried everything. You have carried your debit card, you have carried your credit card, your driving license. Yeah, I have it all on and my wallet, have yeah. Okay, and uh, just carry a pen and a piece of paper. A piece of paper, a pad and a pen. Oh, well, I have a notebook in the car. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, uh, just sit in your car. You can go towards your car. Once you sit in your car, just say, Hello, Cynthia. I'm in my car. Okay? Okay. I'm on the line. Okay? Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Do I turn my computer off or do I leave it on or what? Uh -huh. Uh, what your computer? Yeah. Yeah, you can leave that as it is because leave as it. the technicians okay. have initiated the removal process, so they are working on everything. So they need your laptop, your computer to be open. Leave your device at as, as it is. Don't do All anything right, okay. on it. Okay, I okay? got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, out of me in the car. Okay, are you in your car right now? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, now I'll give you the address for the nearest Home Depot store. Okay? Okay. Yeah, because every store has their own policies, their own terms and conditions. Like some will allow you for a 500, some allow you for a 1,000, some allow you up to 2,000. So every store has their own policies, their own protocols. Okay? So okay. Home Depot would work in our case. They will allow you for the maximum they can give you up to 10,000 or up to 20,000. That's the maximum they can give to each customer in a day. Okay. Okay. So this would work in our case. Uh, let me give you the address. Are you ready with the piece of paper and pen? Uh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. Note down the address as 2560. Okay. Bruckner Boulevard. It's Bruckner spelled as B R U C K N E R. Bruckner Boulevard. B L V D Boulevard. Bronx, New York. And the zip code is 10465. Did you say one zero four six five? Yes, sir. One zero four six five. Well, whenever you say "okie dokie," it reminds me of Selena Gomez. No, ah, uh, she was a good-looking <laughs> woman. Yes, yeah, she is. I I inspire her a lot. She's a very inspiring woman.
You took your notes for the address? Yeah, I got it, yeah. Okay. Okay, now, uh, do you know how to put this address on your navigations or on GPS so you can follow that? Well, I know where it is. I've lived here for okay, 30 you odd know. years. Yeah. Oh, you know the address, right? Oh, well, I don't know the address. I just know how to get to the Home Depot. I go with her quite a bit. Okay. Okay, perfect. Like you are familiar with that place, right? Yeah, I've lived there over 30 years. <laughs> That's great. Okay. All right. Now I want you to drive towards that place. Uh, put me on speakerphone. Okay? Plug your phone. Yeah, put me on speakerphone. Uh, and... Uh, do you know how much time it will take you to reach there? Any approximate idea? Uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, perfect. All right. So put me on speakerphone. Okay. Okay. Now drive safely. Make sure don't be don't get any any kids and don't be in hurry. Okay, once you reach there, once you reach the Home Depot's parking lot, park your car at the parking lot. Say hello back to me. That's Cynthia. I'm in the parking lot. I'm in my car at the parking lot. Then I'll give you a few instructions that what you need to do exactly inside the store. Okay? Okay. Now, drive safely. I wish you a safe journey. Make sure until we are in the middle of the procedure, do not answer any other call, phone call, whether it's your family member, it's your wife, or anyone else, and do not make any phone call, okay? Okay, perfect. I am on the line. Uh, put me on speakerphone and drive safely, okay? Once you reach there at Home Depot's parking lot, do let me know and say hello back to me, okay? Okay, okay, I'm on the line. I'll stay by the phone and keep that in mind that you are my responsibility, okay? So, uh, we are on the recorded line. All the law enforcement authorities are monitoring our conversation at the moment. So, make sure you drive safely, okay? That's our main concern. That's our main priority right now. You are the first priority right now. Okay, okay, sure. All right. Are at the parking lot, sir? Uh, yeah, that's me in the parking lot. Uh, okay, all right. So, and that's Home Depot, right? Yeah, the Home Depot. Yeah. Okay. Now, sir, I'll give you a few instructions that how you need to proceed inside the store and what you need to do exactly. Once I'm done with the instructions, then I'll let you know about it, and then you can step out from your car. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, uh, now at this point of time, since we cannot trust anyone and we do not know who that person who is leaking all your information, and the leak point of your information could be anyone, because there is no, that's not possible for anyone without the involvement of any bank official from the local branches to make or to authorize any charges, as these are the high dollar charges, right? Okay. Now, step one would be when you go inside the store, you need to go to the gift cards section from the gift card section you need to pick home depot gift cards not oh. the home depot credit card you need to pick home depot gift cards okay okay yeah there should be home depot gift cards now <coughs> uh, when you make the payment at the self checkout line when you make the payment for them like in total you need to get for thirteen thousand five hundred dollars okay so when you upload a thousand on each card, so you need to get thirteen gift cards, right? Okay. For a thousand and one for a uh, one for five hundred, right? Okay. So in total, you need to pick fourteen gift cards. In total, you need to grab fourteen gift cards. In which you need to one on which on one card you need to upload only five hundred dollar. And rest of 13 gift cards, you need to go for a thousand on each. Okay? Okay. 
Okay, now you, when you make the payment in the self checkout line, you need to swipe your debit card single time, like each time for each card, one by one. You need to make the payment one by one. Like in total, you need to swipe your cards 14 times. Don't go for once, okay? Don't go for once. Don't swipe your card at once. Just swipe. 14 times make single transaction separate transactions for each card okay okay yeah i got you like yeah. yeah you need to swipe 14 times for each card one by one okay okay i can do now it. now okay perfect now if anyhow your card will not work or if your card will got blocked your card will get declined or your card will not get excited or accepted by the machine or by the payment you will supposed to get a text message from the bank that would be a fraud alert whether it's you making the transaction or not you need to reply it with yes okay it's okay. me right yes okay now if the manager came to you or if any customer service executive ask you why you want this much of uh, gift cards what you gonna say what reason you will going to give them because someone's trying to buy child pornography and I have to do a duplicate uh, transaction. No, no, sir. We cannot uh, disclose anything with them because right now as you are dealing with the child pornography, also you are dealing with the head office right now. Okay? So as we are being guided by the Federal Reserve System, by the Federal Bank itself, and also we cannot involve any third person in the situation because there are all the federal agents and all the higher authorities are involved in the situation. So you cannot say like this. Do not mention any such thing about child pornography or about duplicate charge okay, or about matter, anything say. to them. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any good reason? Uh, well, I don't have ma that many children and grandchildren. I only have three kids and two grandkids, so it can't be that. Okay, like you can say that or else you can say that I'm going to give these cards uh, to disabled people at church or to homeless people or you can say I'm going to have a get together at my home, a party at my home after a long time and that's why I'm going to give these cards to my grandchildren and my children like this, like any good reason from among all of the reasons I have mentioned to you, you can give any reason to them from these reasons, okay? okay? All right. But make sure you yeah, but make sure you need to be enough confident. You need to be more confident to them because you are smart enough to handle with that situation. No matter what at any cost how many they will try to get more information from you or if they ask you or if they say anything because nowadays so much of scams and frauds are going on and as you already a victim of identity theft and hacking someone has compromised your identity your socials and everything your account information that's how they have conducted some illegal activities right and okay. child porn it's a very offensive crime right you are a victim so you can already understand that concern why we are saying this because a private investigation is going on for it so we can catch that culprit we can catch that person who involved with the hackers also who is leaking all your information so that's the public place right and we never know who could be the person whosoever the person who may involve with the hackers right okay that's the main reason yeah so be confident with them okay put a smile on your face handle the situation confidently and smartly no matter what they say no matter what they how much they try to manipulate like if they say so much of scams are going on people used to get numbers or whatever people try people are getting scam like this and that also if they ask like have you received any call from anyone or is someone involved with you no matter what they say be confident with them stick to your words and say no this is for my personal use thank you you guys are concerning for me it's nothing like that okay no one is involved with me no one is asking me to do this this is for my personal use i'm going okay, to give okay. this to all my right, grandchildren right, yeah, or yeah, yeah, to yeah, the I homeless get it, people. i get it i get it okay i okay. understand okay now yeah. if you okay if you will face any problem inside the store you don't need to talk to me inside the store at any cost come outside the store come back in your car once you're back in your car then you say hello back to me 
okay but i'll be on the line with you throughout the whole time you can carry your cell phone with you you can keep me on line i'll be on the line with you you can carry your cell phone in your pocket so i can listen all the conversation also we can get a records of it we can record everything okay okay all right yeah so now yeah once you back once you back in your car once you get the gift card once you back in your car say hello back to me also one thing is uh one thing is left like if they won't allow you for a uh, 13500 whatever they can offer you as per the daily limit it depends on the daily limit for each customer like whatever they for, they can offer you like for 1000 for 2000 or for 5000 for 7000 whatever they can offer you take that Okay? okay but try to get the maximum okay all right okay so you are smart enough yeah you need to smart enough to handle with that and confident enough so i wish you very good luck don't talk to me inside the store at any cost once you back in your car say hello back to me or if anyhow we got disconnected you 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 know how to handle with that what you need to do right if anyhow we got disconnected what you gonna do you Wait, can drop me a text if you message ring, then i ring you Yeah that's right perfect okay i wish you very good luck try your best i'll be on the line you can keep me with you and you can put your phone in your pocket remove okay. me from the speaker phone okay try your best right everyone that's me back unfortunately they've hung up but i'm going to ring them back so I have the transactions done in save my bank um there's a thousand in it and that's all we're going to get from this store so Hello Hello Cynthia It's yes, Franco sir. Hello, I didn't realize that the phone had hung up. I'm sorry. No problem. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay. So what happened? Are you back in your car? Yeah, I'm back in the car. Uh I was able to get 8 cards of 1000. Okay, you just got 8 uh, eight cards for 1000. Yeah, that's all they would let me get. Okay, and uh these are Home Depot, right? Uh, yeah, they're, they're all Home, Home Depot. Depot yeah. Okay. Okay. Now do one thing, sir. Pull out uh, all the cards from the envelopes. Pull out each of them from the envelopes. Okay. And uh, do one thing, just have a look on the back side of the card. On the back of the card, uh there is supposed to be a gray and black metallic strip or a peel off a strip or a scratch panel a gray and yeah. white do you see a scratch panel at the back it's a bit odd whenever i'm driving i was going to go to the other home depot to see if i could get the other cards for you no problem okay we can go for it but first of all uh, we need to forward the uh, forward them we need to forward these so we can initiate the duplicate card so we can proceed for the rest Just yeah, well, look I'm at on the, the back expressway, of the... so there's no way for me to pull over. No, it's nothing like that. Uh, are you are you in the parking lot at the moment, right? You no, are in I'm the parking driving. lot. I'm driving to the other Home Depot. Okay, just pull over your car. Uh, I'm on the expressway. There's no way to pull over. You're not allowed to stop in the emergency lane unless it's you an emergency. On the expressway. Yeah, I'm uh-huh. on the expressway. Yeah, I'm heading uh, towards okay. the other Home Depot. Okay, which hook? Uh, do you know the address? How far it will be? It's going to be maybe about five, ten minutes if I stay on the expressway. Okay, so uh, once you reach uh, the other Home Depot's parking lot, firstly say hello back to me. Don't go inside the store without having the conversation or without talking to me. Okay. Okay. Okay, I am on the line. Okay? All right. Okay, thank you.
Hello? Hello, Cynthia. Sorry. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Yes, sir. We got disconnected. All right. I need to get a new phone. Okay. I might get one while I'm in here. Okay. Now, are you at the parking lot in your car? Yeah, I'm still in the car. Okay. Uh, so, I ask you to have a look on your on the back side of Home Depot gift card. Do you see a metallic strip or a scratch panel? Yeah, I got three of them done so far. Okay, now do one thing, sir. Uh, uh, just uh, read me out the numbers and the pin numbers on that one by one. Let's start with the very first one. I'm ready. Okay, it's nine, eight, zero, oh, six, one, four, zero, oh, one. On, hold on. Hold on, sir. First low, hold, hold on, hold on. It's 9808. Yeah. 1 one nine. Okay. Do you know how to take the picture? I can hardly do a text message. How do you expect me to do a picture, eh? Okay, no problem. Okay, what's the pin number? What's the pin number? It's uh, the pin. Uh, oh, it's one six one one. Okay, one six one one, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, just give me a minute. Oh, can you just read me out the number once again, just to double check it? Yeah, it's nine eight zero six one mm -hmm. four zero one. Mm -hmm. Two six six two mm -hmm. nine eight eight two mm -hmm. nine 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 seven four one nine. Mm -hmm. And that's Home Depot gift cards, right? Yeah, the orange one. Okay. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, let's move on to the next one, sir. What's the number for the other one, for the second one? Okay, it's uh, 9806 9981 Two nine eight. Okay, what's the pin number? Uh, four nine nine two. Four nine nine two, right? Yeah. Okay, just give me a minute. Yeah, so um, I just done them in bulk, uh, changed them out a wee bit, 
you know, for the next door. So we can just see what's going on there. Um, so many uh, freaking cards, and you know, they all have different amount of numbers and all the rest. So, uh, yeah, it's go cool. well. This is the boring part now, reading like card numbers and all the rest. So. Um, I don't know why my phone's not ringing back. Maybe they're not ringing me back and they want me to do it because they know they're low on minutes. But, uh, fingers crossed. Because I forgot to subscribe to it, so, yeah. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Uh, okay. This one's got the same number. Only difference is it ends in five o oh, four three. Ends with five o oh, four three, right? Rest yeah. of them are six. Yeah, they all start off the same. Must be from the same batch. Only the last four digits are five o oh, four three, right? Yeah. Okay, what's the pin number? Uh, for that one, it's uh, two two. One seven. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay. Okay, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, you were in your car at the Home Depot's parking lot, right, sir? Yeah, I am, um, yeah. Okay, and uh, that's the other one or the previous one on which you have already went? No, sure, I went back to that one. Because it's the only place you okay, can stop on the can road. You... Okay, so uh, right now you are in your car at the parking lot, right? Yeah. Okay, can you just blow your horn? Can I blow my horn? Yeah, can you blow your horn? Why? I'm sitting in my car. There's people around me. You're not meant to blow your horn, especially coming up to 7 o'clock at night. It will attract the police. I just... No, I... No, I just need to make sure, sir. Yeah, and you get me arrested. Sorry? You'll get me arrested. Because there's police sitting just across the road from me. If they see me blowing my horn, for no reason they come over, they see, and they go, Hey, what are you doing? No, why, why, would, why would they do that? It's not because it's like after that. six o'clock, no you're not allowed to blow your horn. It's a no horn zone. No. Okay. If you live in That's America, no you would know. Okay, let me do one thing, sir. Let me just connect your call to one of my senior executive, okay? They will assist you better. Who am I being put to? Yeah, hello? Hello? 
Yeah, hello. What's going on? Okay, sir. Thanks for being online. This side is Jason from the Fraud Protection Department. Okay. Um, you were just uh, providing the gift cards, correct, sir? Yeah. I'm asking, I'm asking, being asked to uh, blow my horn. I'm in a no horn zone. No, no, that's all right, sir. That's totally fine. Okay. Uh, you just provide your cards, okay? Uh, just verify me the next card, sir. Right, I don't. Right, uh. So it's, we have, uh. Yeah. Have you got it, the first part of them wrote down? Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, the next one is 999-6214. Okay. 6214. Yeah. Okay. And, uh. What is the PIN number, sir? It's 9814. 9814. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, sir. Let me just check for you. Just uh, stay with me, okay? Just give me a minute. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hello. Okay, uh, sir, you're in your car, so can you please, uh, like, can you own your indicator? Yeah. Here. Yeah, can you do that? There you go. I just put my indicator on. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Neither are we getting suspicious? Really? Hey, can I ask what all this uh, jumping through oops and everything else is about? Just hold on, sir, okay? Just hold on. Just hold on. Yeah, why are you asking me to beep my horn and put my indicator on? Okay, sir, uh, just provide me the next card. Okay, uh, next one is 9816. It's 9816. Yeah, 4176. Okay. Hmm. 1499. Hmm. Eight two eight three nine four nine 
8714. Okay, pin number? Uh, 9113. 9113, okay? Yeah. Hold on, sir. Nah. Hello? Yeah, hello. It's Franco. Bye bye. What? I love you. Yo? What are you on about that? Eh? You have me sitting Yo? here for three hours on the phone, running around the Home Depot, getting you cards. What the hell's going on, eh? Landio. What? What the hell are you on about? Ah, oh, Franco. Yeah, hello. Rom, Rom, bhai. Oh. Hello. Yeah, hello. What's going on here? Yeah, Rom, Rom, Rom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting sick and tired here. I've been on the phone for over three hours. Okay, then suck my dick, you motherfucker asshole, dickhead. Uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, fuck, who do you think you were talking to? Black asshole. Huh? Eh? You have me running around the home and deep. I'm 70 years old. <laughs> eh? The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave. We'll soon see you, my pal. The good keyboard is coming out now. Uh, so let's see. Um, right now that I've got them is off, I can get that back on. Well, not that I got them off, it's just that they are. Uh, so let's see. Task manager. <phone rings> So what's going on here? Right, that's right, my thing's going as well. <laughs> um right, so Gmail and then VoIP. Just in case they ask me to log back in. I'm not buying numbers, I'm just switching number. Excuse me. Text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone.
this number now. I'm wondering if they shut that number down now. Want me to find out? Seems to be. Oh, you gotta love it. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, as you've seen everyone, uh, what's that now? 3 hours and 22 minutes of a call. Um, I have them here, as you've seen and heard. My virus alert went off. That's not a virus alert. That's because they opened them. So it gives me access into there. I'm going to go in now and have a look at the logs, uh, see what I can get. They also took uh, the hit list, so it's showing up here, thankfully. Well, they didn't take it, they opened it. Um, so that allows me to access their system. Um, unfortunately, they've now shut it down. But I was able to get a good few bits and pieces. Um, I'll see what I can get. Uh, pass it on to the necessary authorities. And then just take it from there. Um, there was a wee bit of noise in the background. But as I said. Actually, I don't even think I said. Um, I was too busy talking about other things um there wasn't many people talking in the background but you could hear them all you know laughing and teehaying at the very last there so they're obviously not busy do you know what i mean so anyway uh, enough blubber blabbering uh thanks very much for watching i love you don't get scammed and peace out well as you've seen everyone had a good old chuckle at the very end there um don't know what they were laughing at but a pack of idiots you know, maybe they should get a real job. They would actually make proper money. And the sad thing is, their lives. That's it. Their lives. So, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you had a laugh. Hope you learnt. And speak to you next time.